Question 9 says a heat engine operates between a reservoir of 24 degrees Celsius and one at 439 degrees Celsius. What is the maximum efficiency possible for this engine? And so whenever we're talking about efficiency, we're basically talking about the ratio of the amount of work we get out of it divided by the energy transferred into it, uh, so the energy transferred into the hot reservoir. So if we look at the the first law of thermodynamics, we see that the change of internal energy is equal to the heat, energy transferred by heat plus the work done on the system. On an engine, we basically are saying that there is no net change of internal energy because uh, the engine goes from, from, it starts at a low energy and then it shoots up to a high energy and it goes back down to a low energy. So its final state and its initial state, so if its final state and its initial state are the same. So the change in internal energy is equal to zero. So we would say, we would say that the, the change of internal energy is equal to Q plus W, and we would solve for one or the other, so we could say that, that internal energy minus Q is equal to W. And since internal energy is zero, that means that negative Q is equal to W. This could also be rearranged, so we could say that Q is equal to negative W. And so what negative W, negative W, negative work on the engine, is equal to the work done by the engine on the environment. So we want to find out how much work the engine does on the environment. So we'll set up our equation as Q is equal to the work of the engine on the environment. Now one other thing you have to point out, and it's not completely clear right away, is that because the, the, cha the change of internal energy, we're talking about there being instantaneous changes, but final changes being the same, uh, that means that uh, A, it's, it, it looks like it's a vector quantity, but also it means that whenever we're talking about Q, we're, we're not talking about uh, the absolute amount of Q, we're talking about the net of Q. So heat is transferred in, heat is transferred back out, but the net value is what we're looking at. So the net value of Q is equal to the, the uh, heat transfer. It's, a, it's the energy absorbed by the engine. So it's the heat transfer from the hot to the cold. Uh, so it's the absolute value of the heat, heat uh, transferred from hot and the absolute value of the heat transferred from cold. And so we'll say that the work that the engine does the work that the engine does on the environment is equal to the absolute value of, of the QH minus the absolute value of QC. Now I've set this up because we said that the efficiency of the engine is the ratio of the amount of work we get out of it. So it's the work the engine does on the environment. It's the ratio of the amount of work we get out of it divided by the energy transferred from the hot reservoir. So if we define work as QH over QC, we can change our, our equation to E equals QH, absolute value of QH over QC divided by QH. And then this can actually be um, broken up a little bit. We can say that the, the energy, so if we have the absolute value of QH over QH minus QC over QH, we end up getting to where this, this cancels out and becomes 1, so the energy is equal to 1 minus QC over QH. And I said, and I keep saying energy, this is, the E is efficiency. And so you can see that if the energy, uh, if there's never energy transferred from the cold reservoir, that would be, QC would be 0, and so the efficiency would be 100% if the energy transferred from the cold reservoir was zero, that's saying that the cold reservoir loses nothing to its surroundings. If it were zero, then one minus zero, because any number divided into zero is zero, so one minus zero would be one. So any amount of energy that the cold reservoir transfers is going to decrease the efficiency of the engine. The problem is, and, and this again is absolute, this is absolute values, the problem is, though, in this problem, we're not giving the energy in, as in joules. We're giving the temperature as in Kel uh, we're given Celsius, but we need to convert it to Kelvin. Of course, 
Um, whenever you read about the Karna engine, I think it's page 417, it relates, uh, it relates this uh, QC over Q, K, uh, QH is equal to TC over TH. And so now we can use our temperatures and we can substitute into this equation. So now all we need to do is plug in our values for the, the cold reservoir and the hot reservoir which uh, 24 degrees and 439 degrees is what I got and we need to convert these to Kelvin so 24 plus 273.15 is uh, 297.15 and then 439 converts to 712.15 and we could set these over each other and so we'd have TC over TK and we'd subtract from 1 so 1 minus and the ratio ends up being 0 0.417258 so 1 minus that is equal to 0 0.582742 so 0 0.582 or 0 0.582742 and so this is actually the they're looking for this number uh, for the answer but um, we could say this another way and say that the engine is about the maximum efficiency this engine could get is 58.2 percent efficient the, do not plug it in this way because it will tell you it's in a, an unrecognized form, so it doesn't like that percent sign. And so that's that. That's not that. You want to do it like this.